Uh, but here we go. We're on. Uh, let's make sure pause is on a different key. Good. I checked earlier. We are currently at a streak of five in a row, everyone. So five in a row. We've done Fed A, NGC, Zoltan A, Stealth Z, and the Slug A. Slug A was the last one. So uh, we will random from the Slug A, see what we get. And uh, for those who don't know, we always random until we get a ship we haven't played yet since it's hard mode, no pause. No repeats on this, so uh, let's see what we can start off with today. How about a great stealth B to end the streak immediately, right? <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one, and random. Oh god, okay, slug B. It might not be a rock A, but it is on the level. It is on that level. How about a stream where FTL does the streaks and I screw it over so hard at Rage Quiz? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. You just won with slug A and I start stream. That's nice. I've been missing my live hard mode no pause streams for a few weeks due to work. That I'm still streaming FTL. If people watch it, I stream it. Although uh, I did take a break from uh, multiverse last week because I've been getting kind of frustrated with that mod. All right, Slugby, this is a really tough one. Kind of like Rock A, it's pretty reliant on missiles. Um, trying to think. Uh, Trying to remember if, if there's anything specific about this one I need to plan on. I mean, it's a boarding ship. It's kind of a crappy boarding ship. No heal bay, no clone bay. It's the only ship in the game that starts with no heal bay, no clone bay. So your healing and your offense are both relying on missiles. It's got pretty crappy crew. It does have slug repair gel to sell. Um, so probably the main goal on this one is find a weapon or a clone bay as quickly as possible, I guess. Slug B is pretty good. Pretty good to get wrecked. Another ship that can run out of offense pretty quickly. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Um, this is a tough one. Warm up my micro here. So, shift D. No, shift F, S. Shift S, F. Which is awkward because D is where heal bay would be. We don't have a heal bay or clone bay. T for teleport, right? Yes, I just can't do it when there's nobody here. Okay, all right. All right, my friends. I am uh, not looking forward to this being the first run. An immediate store, eh? Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five, six, and cross. So I can get a couple jumps before the store if we don't lose any jumps. Let's go for that. Early stores kind of suck, but if we get a few jumps before the store, maybe we can find something useful. Hey, an immediate solar flare with a heavy eye on. Oh, that's pretty terrifying. Okay. He's got an NG and a Mantis here. So I think what I want to do is I want to board on the Mantis so we can get a little bit ahead on the fight there. That'll pull the NG. Um, I need to open the doors on the back side of the ship so that Solar Flare doesn't completely wreck our ship here. Okay, so immediately board on this guy. Heal Bomb. We're going to have to Heal Bomb and hope he doesn't dodge. With pulling the NG off of piling, he hopefully won't dodge. Here we go. Some doors over here. See if we can hit his weapons. Oh, that's perfect. It's a fire, too. Okay, we pull one guy. It's good they swapped out. Heal bomb now. Beautiful. Okay. Only the piloting on fire. It's good. Come on, come on, get that fire out, please. Okay, that's good. Heal bomb these guys. Get out. All right, we had to use three missiles there. A little expensive. I didn't save their positions there. Okay, we didn't take any damage, though. Uh, what's up, the thing, Graham? How are you doing? Oh, but we did get 19 scrap. That's a pretty good reward, though. Pretty darn good reward. Just three missiles. 
It looks like we got one back, I think. Okay, let me make sure I didn't leave any fires that I missed. I don't think I'm hearing anything, so we should be good. Okay. Uh, just get lovely, huh? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. One more jump than a store. With selling slug repair gel, I'm hoping we'd have enough to be able to buy something. Ignore to tarp. Okay, he's got a burst laser two and boarding. I think I allow him to board because that means it. I think he only boards with one person, so we'll be able to two v one. This guy, but we're gonna want to Artemis his weapons for sure. His burst laser offline, maybe. Yeah. All right, not the worst hits at least. Okay. I'm gonna heal these guys while we're repairing. Hopefully we get over there before his burst laser is back online. Perfect. Oh man, that sucks. Do we get to win this though? Okay, now yeah, we should be good here. Use three missiles again. 20 scrap. That's pretty darn good rewards, honestly. Since we're going to a store soon. Anyone remember the Yo app? No idea what that is. So, nope. This ship, ship looks frustrating. Yeah, the ship sucks. <laughs> I have it pretty low on my list, on my tier list of ships. Ship that can run out of missiles quite easily. Since, uh... Your offense and your crew healing are based on missiles. You don't want to be rude about the developers, but who thought having a boarding ship with med bay, without medbay clone blade plus not really good boarding ship is a good idea? Well, we talked to the devs of this game, and they weren't designing ships that they thought would be good. They were designing ships around a theme. And the theme of this ship is... I don't know. I don't know what the theme of this ship was, but... Uh, the devs never thought that people would be hard mode no pause streaking their game, that's for sure. Alright, 39 scrap with slug repair gel to sell. We could definitely get a weapon if they've got one here. Got long range scanners, no weapons though. The challenge, the, the theme is it's a challenge, that's right. So we buy this, but do we sell slug repair gel? I'll give me 39. I'd have to sell that and a weapon to get anything else. I could sell the slug repair gel and get power. I almost think that slug repair gel might be decent to hold on to. Oh god, that's a pulsar. Well, I'm glad I have long range scanners. I think we just don't even go to a pulsar, right? Pulsar probably just kills us if it's a Zoltan ship, a Zoltan shield ship. I'd probably skip that. Yeah, we're gonna actually just skip that that fight. Uh, Sector one pulsar sounds like death mode to me. We could go through the nebula. If I go through two nebulas, I get one extra jump. So that'd be seven. One, two, three, four. If I go through all four nebulas, we get eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll be nine. So I have to go through one ship fight. So if this is a ship fight, I'll go one, two into the nebula. And then go seven, eight, I think. The ship has more system slots, though. You kind of wish that as a Stormwalker, they actually gave it something to counter ion storms. Didn't want to stick to the theme so badly, like backup battery. Wow, so we got a Zoltan Shield ship. Zoltan Shield and Burst Laser 2. You're overpowered and broken. Thanks for the bribe. I'll take the free stuff. Or at least give it long range scanners for Nebula. Okay, God, I do not think I want to go into an asteroid field with this ship. 
probably an auto scout. Even if it's an auto scout with no cloaking, or with no shield, it's probably got cloaking, and we couldn't board that. We're gonna go down this way. Do we have anything for distress? Thing we have. Is there a missile distress thing? I'm not sure. got a missile. My, we're immune to the mind control. Okay, alright. I'm gonna take a six shots at least to kill this guy. Or three shots at least to kill this guy. Because it works the three missiles to attack him. The reward could be a map or extra scrap, right? Could do the blue option and hope for free stuff. I'm considering my options a lot more recently. This could be nothing. It could be a blue option for nothing. So the question is, do I want to spend three or more missiles to kill the guy? We're only susceptible to damage from his missile. I think I'm going to go for this. Here's a map. Pretty worthless, honestly, since we have long-range scanners. One, two, three, four. This is not a very good sector one so far. We got long-range scanners. To see that it was actually probably better to go up through the nebula. Definitely don't want to dive, though. Should I get... I can't even get shield value point yet. I didn't identify the mind controller cloaking on the ship without seeing the layout. I saw it underneath the ship over here. There's a place where you could see its systems. More damage for 8 scrap. Not sure if worth. That is actually just completely breaking even... So, that kind of sucks, but trading, trading helper scrap. Maybe worth early game, I don't know. Uh, next time we see a ship before the fight, you can see what's on the ship. You see? Look right here, you can see exactly what systems are on the ship. Is my head covering it? My head's kind of covering it, though. That's how you see it. Always check your ships before you take the fight. Ion plus missile. God, man. This is a second Zeltan shield ship, too. Like, I have to spend three missiles just to be able to board this guy. Is that worth it? Where's Britnot? Is it worth even doing this? I don't even know if it's worth. To argue one ship is S tier, it helps you have a clear D tier or C tier ship. Okay. Oh, God. I don't even know if I take this fight, man. He'll be shooting me a missile, shooting me with missiles the whole time I'm trying to get through his Zeltan shield. God, I think I just have to take fewer fights. This feels really bad, man. Would Hollow skip? Does he skip stuff like that? Or at least we got a little bit of scrap there. Man, what a terrible Sector 1. No weapon. Store was crappy. And we've got some free scrap. Wow, look at this sector layout. Only two green and the well, only three green and the first one's Zoltan that we don't want. This is a really, really, really terrible bunch of RNG here. Uh I think we go rebel here, because Zoltan's just bad. I mean it's got more store potential, but Zoltan Border Police probably just kills us. Terrible, terrible bunch of RNG. Wonderful. Pulsar, we skip. Hmm. Shield value. It's probably worth. Weapon value. Two shield value. Jump is empty. Okay. So if this is the um, manually search, do I want to get level 2 piloting for a blue option? This ship doesn't start with level 2 piloting, does it? So I have to spend 20 scrap to do that. <sighs> 1 in 4 to lose crew on that. I'm going to have to think about that. Just go here and around, maybe. Auto scout. Mind control, we're immune. Okay. 
running. Okay. Okay, we let the mini beam go. Put that through. And we do this, and we should be good. Gotta use four missiles for this fight, which sucks. Alright, breached. He can't get out now. Anyway, I can do damage without spending my missiles. Nope, nope. Nope, just have to spend missiles. Alright, that does give me enough for shields. Should I get level 2 shields? With the depower stuff to use it, but yeah, I think I should. I think I should. We're going to have to depower our O2 and our engines to power them, but we could potentially be immune to some ship's damage for two shields. We did my, we did counter the mind control by being all slugs, true. <sighs> could you stop running away, you shit game? He's got a heal bay, he's got a missile, and he's fucking running away. This is so dumb, man. Well, I have to, I have to deal with the borders, the border first, while shooting, piloting, while taking his effing missiles. God damn, ships like this are bullshit. Okay, well, there's value point, and he dodges my first shot. Of course he fucking does. Of course he does. If we do that, board here, that'll stop him from repairing. Don't dodge. Okay. Now when they go in the heal bay, we shoot missile up the heal bay. This is costing us a lot of missiles. It's a good dodge. Okay, no more missiles, please. God, that costs us so many missiles. God, I don't even know if that fight was worth it, how many missiles we spent. I'm glad you all are so excited about anti-mind control. You know what I would take over anti-mind control? Any good boarding crew, <laughs> you know? Like a rock or a mantis. My god, I would take that over mind control immunity all day, man. 13 missiles left. I could get one power, but then I'd have nothing if we find a store. We, we need to find a store with weapons or clone bay or something, I think. Slugby, your nemesis. Yeah, the ship's pretty crap. Three borders. Okay. Three borders. Okay, we are immune to damage here. I shouldn't need an Artemis missile. God, this guy, there's six crew between the free borders and him, his crew. That's insane, man. Six freaking crew. I did wait as long as possible there. Which is a little sketchy, but... Okay. Now, how do we do this? We probably board, then run away to guarantee we heal. What's the best way to do this? Okay, so we'll get ahead here in this fight. Because that's the other thing. This is, um... This is a ship where your healing can actually be dodged. I'm gonna actually run around a little bit here. We guarantee our heal doesn't miss. I had like a zit or a bug bite on my head that's itching like crazy. What the hell? Okay, 11 missiles left. All right, so now I'll be able to board, then board a second time to finish them off. And I shouldn't have to use any more missiles. Except when we heal after the fact. Actually, we'll just win this with those guys, so... We'll let them finish it. 
Hey, dolphin flip. Successful. Uh, no thanks. That sounds gross. Plunder big. <laughs> All right, can I have a store? Damn. This sector layout, though. I'm gonna guess my store is... over there that I missed, or up there? Well, we have eight jumps at least. All right. Something good about freezing winter weather, there's no bugs at all. Yeah, I guess that's true. Please don't be a whole bunch of damage again. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Okay. Free crew, that's really, really nice. Free crew on a boarding ship. It's it's an NG, so it's not like a crazy good boarding crew, but... Do I get nine if I go one, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah, I think we do. Would I take the manually search here? What do we have at half power is another question. We have four. Four power, half power. I'm not seeing a store anytime soon, so I'm actually gonna buy two power for this, this jump here. Yeah, it's free crew, it's nice, it's definitely nice. This is the one. Do I take it? Oh, one in four to lose crew. The one in four to lose crew. God, I think, I feel like this is one of those ships where you have to take that gamble. I feel like I have to take that gamble, man. Okay, all right. Four damage for some stuff. I'll take it. I will take it. I would say that was actually a pretty good outcome. The fact that we didn't lose crew is, is a good outcome there. Let's check if there's any other breaches. I think that was about max damage you can take from that event, by the way, but still. We did gain... kind of. Four damage for nine scrap. I think that's barely positive. Okay. Um... I will almost snap pick that. I think I need my missiles more than I need the five extra fuel right now. Normally I would take that, but for now we kind of need our missiles, so I'm gonna have to say no to that. <laughs> Two jumps in a row where they're trying to make me lose my missiles. I can't do this, right? Like. If I had another weapon, yes, but I cannot sell my missiles. I will be unable to heal if I do that. Like, I get famous and everybody wants to, you know, all of a sudden be my best friend. I got missiles, everybody all of a sudden wants to have all my missiles. Is a universe without missiles, yeah. That's why some people say this game has its own sentience. Always seeing stuff you need the most, yeah. Uh, now a ship that's going to require at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five missiles to kill. I wonder if, um, I wonder if getting level two teleport on this ship would be worth it. We should be immune to damage unless we get unlucky, at least. Which we'll probably get unlucky. Okay, can't dodge. I wish that had been a... I wish that had been a breach. That's gonna do damage. That did one damage, okay. Now we should be safe from damage. <sighs> Three more missiles to kill. There's a fire somewhere. I think it's in here or over here. Make sure we get his engines offline so he can't dodge. I'm not sure if the missile usage was worth it here, but... You know? I just don't know, man. I just don't know. 
Like we need miss we need to use missiles to gain scrap. But we need scrap to buy missiles. An endless loop or something. Wonder if it's actually worth it this fight. Yeah, I know. I mean we need scrap badly enough that I I think it is. I think so. I don't know, man, I don't know. Please no more auto scouts. Damn it. Auto hacker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's another five missiles. I think if this guy can't damage us, I think I don't take I don't use my missiles here. He can't damage us. Guaranteed five missile cost. I think we just run here. Or guaranteed at least five. I could take one Artemis shot, and if it hits the piloting, say do it, but uh, five missiles. I don't know. Does anybody know if Hollow would do that? Would Hollow use his missiles? Would Britnoth? Would anybody who plays hard mode no pause more than me use their missiles here? We're immune to damage, so I, I wonder if there's something else we could do. If I had level two teleporter, I could probably slowly get him down. Maybe the maybe the correct play was to get level two teleporter earlier, so I could actually kill some systems very slowly. I'll have one missile left, even if I hit and can kill this guy. Necker usually gets teleported early on this. Yeah, it's probably what I should have done. I mean, I don't hate the choices I've made, except the extra power I got. Maybe. Yeah, I need missiles to heal the crew. I think we just don't do anything here. We just say F it and don't take the scrap. They all have nine health too, man. Damn it, nothing but auto scouts. Asteroid field. Yeah, I could get teleporter. Let's see if there's an early store next sector. No thanks, rock control. I've skipped like three fights or so right uh, so far to conserve missiles. I'm really worried right now. Really, really worried. Do I get level 2 teleporter? Because if it's another auto scout, I won't be able to do anything to them. That's all of my scrap, though. If I go ahead and do that. So far, the only choice I think I might not have liked that I made was the extra 2 power I spent. That was 40 scrap. What else I could have gotten that scrap, I guess, an earlier teleporter. Maybe I could have gotten the auto scout slowly. That probably would have been the correct play. I'm going to do this. Case is an auto scout. Necro boards with four crew. I bet you he doesn't against auto scouts. Because he would lose his crew. Oh my god, look at that ship's weapons. I haven't even had a chance to board a four crew, so you're talking about things that I haven't had the option for yet. Plunder pig. Keel bay, boarding. Jesus Christ, man, these ships are so brokenly overpowered, man. Can I can I afford to keep skipping fights? I don't know that I can, but I can't fight this ship. Okay. Two. Okay, good. Damn it, he killed my fucking weapons right as I was gonna bomb him. I don't think I've dodged anything yet so far. I forced him there, and it's good. Don't die, don't die. Okay. 
Oh, I tried to avoid that fight. The game didn't let me. My shields are burning. Please don't burn down and get taken other damage. Fuck, man. Well, oh man, this is rough. This is rough. This is, again, this is freaking NG or Slug B. Ship is terrible. We haven't gotten anything free so far except one free crew. Two missiles left. Uh, even if we found a store right now, I don't know how much it would help with how much scrap I spent on, you know, just getting shields and level 2 teleporter. I wonder if I should even s skip ship fights while I try to find a store right now. I do have my slug repair gel to sell. Uh, I don't know that... I don't think slug B is the worst ship in the game. It's it's in it's D tier or F tier. It's, it's one of the bottom. I don't... I think I put it on the bottom, but I actually think Fed C might be worse. But it's really bad. It's definitely really bad. All right, we have to hope for a store. What could even save us? Um, a flak, a first laser two. I don't even know what could save us right now. There's a flak. Okay. So I could sell Artemis to get flak. I could get. Is Clone Bay the right play? I sell these two guys, I get another 39. Puts me at 101 scrap. Which is about 14 scrap short of getting both Clombe and Flak. Yeah, this ship starts with Artemis, yeah. I think I could sell long range scanners as well to get both those. We always do this. We always do this. That puts us at 36. 51. So if I sell both of these, I can get a clone bay. Yeah, FSC starts with clone bay, it's true. I think I need to... I think I need to try to come back for a clone bay if I get enough scrap for it. So how much? So this sells for 20. So if I repair, and then these two jumps get 30 scrap, I come back from for clone bay. Man, even flak one by itself is probably not going to be enough for this run. And I can't have Heal Bomb online with the Flak. <sighs> okay. You're saying uh, having a Flak artillery is like an upgrade, Peter. Uh, I would I would not consider that to be the case. Oh man, this guy have an offensive double offensive drones and this much weapon power. Insane. Boarding feels really really sketchy here. Can I get any of his offense offline? Okay, we are... That's pretty good, actually. Okay, we're actually hitting with our flak, which is amazing here. Didn't get shields, but... Okay, got one drone offline, okay. The difference between uh, Fed C and Slug B is at least you can aim your offense on the Slug B. You run out of it, but you can aim it and it's faster. And I'd say that makes that that's probably better than a artillery that you can't aim. Um, artillery that you can't aim and is 50 seconds or is it what 40 if it's at level two? I can't remember. I think it's only level one. They're both crap. I'm not saying either of them is good. These are like arguing which flavor of crap do you prefer.
I probably would prefer the crap of Slug B, but they're both terrible, so. Damn it, man. Okay. Good dodges. Hey, at least we're getting dodge training here, I guess. Player Artemis can fire four times to charge half of its cooldown for four fifth, and the time flat car artillery will fire once. Yeah. And you can aim it. Of course, you run out of it, and it comes with the added benefit of having no way to heal your crew except that a thing that expends missiles. So, again, there's pros and cons. I think I prefer this one. Mainly, I'm saying that because I think I played Fitzy recently on our previous streak attempt, and God, I hate that ship so much. It really sucks. Uh, you're not saying it's good. At least you have a chance of destroying systems without fear of running out of things and crew. Uh, you have the... Again, my argument would be you have the fear of just running out of health because it takes so long to charge. Speed of weapon charging might be the most underrated stat for newer players, I would say. Like, newer players often think, oh man, Glade Beam's the best weapon in the game. I would argue it's mid-tier to low-tier, because without Pre-Igniter, it's just, it's just too slow. Of course, I'm not saying that you're a new player, but that's just a thing that a lot of new, people, new players think. Is because it can do a lot of damage, it's good. You have to think of how quickly it charges. Alright, so if we get four more scrap from this, we can come back get a Clone Bay. He's got a missile, he's got a clone bay of his own. He's got a teleporter. Okay, so we gotta deal with his border first. Bad. God damn it. There's a crew dead. It didn't even go off. I'm screwed. That didn't even go off. The fucking delay between when you target the weapon. Ugh. I have to run here. Oh, he's out of missiles. He's out of missiles. Okay. We're actually immune to damage now. Question is, will we ever be able to kill him? Kill his crew. Have, uh... Or will I ever be able to heal my crew? Okay, we need to heal my crew before I do anything else. It's out of missiles. We have four health left. Totally calculated. I need to be on piloting now. Repair this since I'm planning on not boarding with you. Okay. Okay, now that that's offline, we get Heal Bay online, we teleport over there, and now we win. As long as he doesn't dodge our missile, our heal bomb. Oh, we should win this anyway. Okay, good. Not even try Dolphin Flip right now. Health is a resource, right, everybody? Health is a resource. Ooh, so is a free augment. Okay. We traded a crew for an augment. Oh, man. What's up, Natani Fufon? 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 How am I doing? Not great. I'm playing Slug B, but we're alive. All right, well, we can now go buy Clone Bay. Yeah, I lost the slug from a missile. 
Guess what killed us? A f***ing missile. Big surprise. Alright, so I can keep the heal bomb, which is actually pretty good with clone bay. Just buy repairs. That might actually be worth being able to heal the full between. Do we have, are there crew for sale here? No. Slug B player think that clone is overrated. What? You are, if you think clone bay is overrated, you are just, you were just wrong. I usually say there are, you know, it depends, but in this case you're wrong. If you actually are saying clone bay is not good, you're just wrong. Um, we're low on fuel too. I'm gonna buy three fuel. And let's heal these guys. If you're not a Slugby player, you're a Kestrel one trick player. Then you're still wrong because Slug uh, Clone Bay is objectively better than Heal Bay. So, sorry, but you're wrong. We've had this discussion on the stream before. Uh, Clone Bay is objectively better than Heal Bay. It just, it just is. If you don't think so, you haven't played enough FTL yet. Because there are so many, there are so many events that Clone Bay protects you from losing crew. We're going to try to vent all of them. I'm just going to let my guys die. I got Clone Bay, and I don't want to waste missiles on the uh, heal bomb right now. Clone Bay, best bay, you know it. Artillery is the best system. Uh, the best system to not have on your ship. In the past you ate Clone Bay, now you almost love that. Yeah, Clone Bay is just, it's just too strong. It is just so strong. It lets you go for things that you couldn't normally go for. Like giant alien spiders without a random blue option and things. It's just, it's just, it's just too, it's just too good. O2, most powerful. Okay, there you go. <laughs> unless you're, unless you're Alanius. Uh, I can, I can agree with that. Oh man, we're going to have half power in this next jump. God damn it, man. This is such a rough run. What are you? Your missile ship. Two shields. I can board him. <sighs> Arm the weapons, I guess, and board him. Two rock dudes. Okay, he does have both his weapons online, damn it. Two damage missile. Around here to buy us time to get heal bomb up. Fucking two damage missile, man. Okay, at least he didn't hit my weapon, so I can get my bomb off there. Okay. We now win. Now it's all about how much damage do we take. About as much as I just prepared, it looks like. God damn this game, man. My teleporter, ugh. I mean, they, they shot me like four times. They just have a missile. They just have a missile. Missile. They have missile. I die. GG. Well balanced, fun game. Uh, all right, we'll see you later, Plunder Pig. Have a good one. Mm, let me 
wait till I have O2 first before I do this next jump. God. Do I even want to take another half power ship fight? I don't know if I do. I don't I don't know if I want to take any ship fights. I need a bunch of free stuff jumps. I have probably seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh god, it is an it is a ship fight. Um I'm gonna wait a little bit here as their weapons desync, I think. I do not even know how to do this. Because I have to lose a shield to have a flak online. Jesus, man. These are desynced, but... God damn it, man. <laughs> I keep having these Cats 22 things. I just... I don't have enough offense. I don't have enough defense. What do I even do right now? I choose to either have shields or a flak online. Or I could board and not have clone bay online. Like, I just... Fuck me, man. God damn it, this game, I swear. And they can't, like, run out of lasers or anything. This is what I talk about when you skip too many ship fights. This is what I feel like is the is the reason you're not supposed to skip as many ship fights as I have. I now cannot kill ships. Like it's just a slow spiral to death if you don't, you know, take enough ship fights to stay ahead of the game, man. damage that we took there. It's a slow death, man. This is somebody I can actually get some scrap from. Okay, all right. Damn it, I didn't have them in position. I boarded the wrong place. It's okay. Finally, somebody who's not brokenly overpowered. It's a freaking miracle. If I hit my doors, that's fine. If I hit the shields, that should pull one of these guys. You're good. We're about to go to the store and probably sell this heal bomb, so I might as well use it. Born without Clone Bay was my only option on that last ship. I think that was the, the I don't think that was the right play. If they hit my Clone Bay and I, my crew dies, this run is over. So I think running away was my only option last time. I think the only option on the last fight was either running or having only one shield with the flak online and try to take out I don't know, it was weapons. I don't know. We're just we're just too far behind here. Heal, sell, or bomb, I guess. Oh, man. We're so far behind. We need so much free stuff to have any chance here. We need, like, a free heavy laser that I can upgrade to or hacking. I don't even know what we need to stay alive right now because we're behind on power as well. If I got back, I might actually sell heal bomb by a backup battery here. We're just so far behind. 
Three shield level. If only that was a thing. Is there anything else I want to do here? Repair more, buy more fuel. Three more repair, I guess. One fuel. I don't know, man. We're just very behind in every metri metric. Offense, defense, crew, health, consumables. Free burst laser. Okay, that's something. Now I just need a free 60 scrap to get the thing online, plus power. That is nice, though. That is a free weapon. It is something. Now I need, like, an NG sector where I get, like, six free stuff worth of jumps. We can't even sell our missiles because we had to use them all. God, this ship sucks. Hmm. <laughs> all these are horrible choices. Oh, Abandoned 4, where we can run into our first Lanius bombers or any Zoltan sector. Oh, my God. Oh, God. How do I want to die? Do I want to die to Lanius Bombers or Zoltan Borders? It's just really, really, really shiznit luck, man. I mean, like, I don't even think I can kill Zoltan Homeworld ships. But I guess we could go Zoltan Homeworlds and we have long range scanners, go to empty jumps, hope we get Zoltan Shield that can maybe keep us alive. I don't know, man. These options are just bad. Which flavor of crap do I want? Which flavor? Just going to empty jumps, looking for Zoltan Shield quest. Nope, it's an actual empty jump. Great. Alright, this is probably the jump that kills us. First jump, Sector 4, in a Zoltan Sector. Oh, it's actually a map. That's pretty darn lucky. I have no fuel, but I know that the Zoltan Quests are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's only 5 jumps it could be at. Problem is, I'm out of fuel. But, uh... Alright. Okay. Empty jump was free stuff that gave us fuel. That's pretty darn nice. One more scrap and we can get our burst laser online. Let's get value point in it right now. <sighs> Out of fuel. Do I take the ship fight before the empty jump? in hopes that we get fuel. God, one scrap short of being able to have this laser online. Because if this is the, um, cure them out, we will then have to wait for fuel. Because they don't give you any fuel when you get the hear them out quest. I'm gonna take this shit fight and hope it's somebody I can board and kill. Oh my god, it's Zoltan fucking border police. With a flak, three shields, and hacking. <laughs> GG everybody, GG. They even took away my power, F you game. And we can do literally no damage to them, by the way. And we can't even run. We have to kill them. We have to clone our dudes. And of course. Of course he hit my clone bay right as I tried to clone my guys to be able to board them. Ah, what a broken ass ship, man. Can, can do literally nothing to these guys. I can just sit here and die. That's what I can do right now. Slug B, hate this ship. Yeah, run killer. I mean, again, it was a catch-22. I had an empty jump. I could go with no scrap and no fuel. 
Or I could go for a ship fight that hopefully doesn't kill me. Oh, God damn it. Streak, streak ended by Slug B. Big damn surprise. We got one free weapon, but it was too late to save the run, man. Slug B is just a just an absolute trash tier of a ship, so. All right, my friends, I gotta stand up, stretch, and clear my mind after that beatdown of a run. I don't know, there were, I, I skipped about four or five ship fights because they were too strong. Uh, maybe if I'd gotten earlier teleporter, I could have killed some of those auto scouts that I didn't have enough missiles to kill. I don't know, I need like Britnoth here to tell me what I did wrong, because I'm not sure. I skipped too much, which I don't like, but again, with this ship, you run out of stuff. I just don't even know. So let me let me take a break, and when we come back, we'll start a new streak. I'd just be sad, because I cannot get past five, it seems like. See you in a bit, my friends.